So now that we've adjusted the size of our columns and rows and we've seen that it's quick and easy to set up my table and make sure that all information is visible, let's take a look at how I can change the look and feel of the font within my worksheet. So uh, if I'm under the Home tab and you come down, you'll see that there is a font group and this font group contains a lot of the options you're probably already familiar with if you've used Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or any other Microsoft program because they typically keep the icons the same and the functionality is also very similar. So to change the font, if I click within cell B3, I've highlighted B3 where it says associate. And if I come over and I click the bold button, it makes that text bold. And if I use my paint bucket drop down and I change that to, let's say, navy blue, I've changed the background within cell B3 to navy blue. And it's important to notice that it only changed that cell because that's the only one I had active. So the rest of them do not change because I don't have them highlighted. Now I can change that if I want. Let's say if I left click on cell B3 and I hold that down and drag over to cell C3 and then I let go. Now I have both B3 and C3 active and highlighted. If I come back up again and I click the navy blue on paint bucket, it will change both cells and if I click on font color, I'm going to change that to white, it does it to both cells. Now notice though that B3 is bold and C3 is not, and that's because I have not clicked on the bold button uh, when I've had both of them highlighted. I only clicked on bold when I had B3 highlighted. So when I was doing this, it was not merging the formats, but it was just applying whatever formats I click on to the actively selected cells. Now. Let's say I do want to use the navy background, white text, and bold across this entire row. I could have done it the first time by highlighting the entire row and then applying those formats, but if for some reason I haven't done that from the start and I have a cell that contains the formatting I want, I can come up here on the left hand side under the Home tab and click on Format Painter. And when I come down you'll notice there's a, a little uh, marquee looking thing going around my cell and I also have a paintbrush icon now. And what I'm literally going to do is dip my paintbrush into cell B3 and then paint over the rest of the cells that I highlight with that formatting. So I'm going to click on cell C3, hold down my left mouse button, and highlight over to G3 before I let go of my left mouse button. And when I do, you see that it's painted the exact formatting, including the bold, on all of those cells. Now the other thing that I can do that's uh, pretty common within the font group is let's say I want to highlight all of my associate names. And instead of being size 11, I want those to be size 12 or even 14. Well 14 looks like it's a little too big, so I'll stick with 12. And then I can actually even change my font. And as I change my font, you can see behind the screen, uh, or behind the menu drop down that it's showing me a preview of those fonts. So that's a really handy feature within 2007 that instead of having to guess what Algerian looks like, I can see what Algerian would actually look like if I were to apply it. Uh, in this case, I'm going to change it to Arial Narrow and you can see that it changed it. If I click it, now it's accepted that for all of the active cells that I had highlighted. So that's the basics of changing things within the font group. Uh, it always depends on what cell I have highlighted and if I have a certain type of formatting that I want to apply to multiple cells, I can use the Format Painter to dip into one cell and paint over a variety of other cells. So in our next video we're going to take a look at this alignment group up here under the Home tab and we'll talk about some of the different things we can do with positioning the text or numbers within our cells.